All right, today we're going to look a little bit at the, uh, well, first of all, I bought another car. This is a 1974 Valiant four-door. Um, it's a Dart. It's a rebadged Dart for sure. I don't think there was really any difference between the two at this particular stage. It just happens to be Plymouth's Dart. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. I still haven't found all the little things. Um, the previous owner told me about some front end work. Um, that will definitely have to happen, the bushings and probably the tie rod ends and all that. Uh, because this is kind of a backup car, I'm probably going to tackle that stuff myself. Not the alignment probably, but um, I'll probably look at the... I really haven't done any suspension or steering work, so this would be a good one to try it out on. And if I ever have to do it to the 66, it'll be similar. Um, this does, however, have power steering, power brakes, and shoulder belts. So that's, uh, that's quite an improvement. Um, if I get this thing working reliably enough, uh, I might just drive it and the 66 kind of half and half, or I don't know, it might, who knows what it'll, uh, whittle down to, but also if I ever wind up in a problem like with the timing belt or the timing chain, um, I can always rob parts off of this in a pinch and uh, get either one of them kind of going. Let's go for a quick spin just down Ella Road. I've got no plates on it, so I'm not going out on the road, on the proper road, but I have started it already. And I should say the heater works fucking awesome. It's, it's toasty in here. I'm not sure how to turn off the... Oh, there we go. There's some things, uh, there's a knob here that someone built in. I have no idea what it does. It doesn't seem to uh, affect anything, but we'll find out. There's a wire coming out of the thing here. I don't know if that's, it's almost like a computer power supply, four pin connector. And you probably won't see it as a camera, but I don't know if that's someone's attempt at like heating blanket, <laughs> the heated seats or what the fuck. But I'll have to trace that back and see if there's any power on there. It's got a radio. I won't play it because I don't want any YouTube copyright bullshit. Depends on how you hit things, but it has a bit of bump steer because of the bushings. And it's pretty good. It's not really, you know, it's tracking straight. But you hit certain potholes and it kind of, you know, keens you over. I'll probably hit some on the driveway here. I didn't pay a lot for this car. It's a true beater, but it's in really good shape. This is kind of my first little outing in it. Uh, the guy I bought it from drove it over here. I was going to go pick it up today, but he said he had, wasn't doing anything, so that was super nice of him. You can hear it squeaking a little bit. Imagine those are probably the same bushings <laughs> that were in there in 1974. The uh, odometer says 46,000 miles. Um, that's obviously not. There's no way. So it's at least been around once. But there's a plate on the inside of the engine bay that says simply new engine at something like 1,937 miles. Whether that's new, I would imagine that means rebuilt engine. 
Or maybe it just means a different engine than was in here. So I don't know what that means, but that would put, if that were all true, and at 2,000 miles, that would put uh, 44,000 miles on this engine. I will be uh, going through at least the top end of it to see what's up. Um, have a look at, like, under the valve spring cover and, you know, just seeing the general age of things. Um, it looks pretty good under there. I think it's a new, it looks like a brand new exhaust. The previous owner put these chrome wheels, or um, wheels on, aluminum wheels and new tires and uh, yeah there's lots lots going right I love this wood tray someone screwed on here probably to hide some of the dash cracks there's not much point in trying to do a burnout on this right now I'll do that later I'm gonna say I don't know if it will, but if I load it up, it probably will. I mean, the uh, the Valiant spun pretty good. Had to use the brake, but I don't spin the Valiant anymore because I pay too much to have the transmission rebuilt. So, not that it, I don't really believe it puts a lot on it, but it does while you're loading it up. Once they're spinning, it's not doing any more work than it would on the road. In fact, it's doing less because it's not pushing the car. Pretty busy on the road here today. Uh, anyway, it drives pretty good. Squeaky up there because of those things, but I mean, it's fully solid, no... We'll also have to check for tire rub because uh, this would have had 14 inch wheels on it. Um, the guy who owned it previously put those wheels on, 15 inch now. It shouldn't be a problem, but you know, sometimes depending on how wide the tire you put on, it can sometimes rub in the corners there. It's hard to tell whether that was rub or the uh, sound that you get out of the front end for the bushings. I'm pretty damn impressed with this. You could drive this into town right now, no problem. I'm going to be doing some other. Uh, videos and photos of this thing so this is just kind of a little bit of an introduction I'll probably repeat myself a couple times I'll probably learn a few things I don't know right now and I'm sure that I won't catch everything that because I don't know everything right now I'm sure I'll catch a few things that uh, are surprises but it's the basis of a good car for sure not gonna, you know, there's no restoration going on here. It's just, I'm gonna make it last, like I do the Valiant or the 66. Just gonna keep it alive. So that's just the uh, introductory drive in this thing. I will um, see you all soon, and we'll have some more info then. All right, take care.